All right, I want to welcome you guys back to Griffin's Industrial Welding School. I have one of my beginner students here. His name is Mr. Anthony Rhodes. How you doing? My name is Anthony Rhodes. I've been training here for about three months now. We're going to go over some of the things that he went over that he learned in the beginner's course, okay, because he has one more week in this course. So I want to make sure that he's, he's ready to go for the field and that not only is he a great welder, but he also has a full understanding of the theory behind it. So, all right, Anthony, we're going to start off with some of the different rods that you learned in the course. Uh, what would a, um, what is a E6027? That is a fast fill electro. That is correct. That is correct. What is the purpose of a fast fill electro? Fast fill electrode, it uh, burns quickly and has a high deposition rate. That is great, that's great. What's the E stand for? E stands for electro. Okay, what's the 60 stand for? That's the tensile strength. Okay, and how many pounds of pressure can this rod hold? Up to 60,000. That's good. What's the two represent? The position. And what position can this rod be ran on? A flattened horizontal position. That's good. What's the seven represent? The flux type and the current. That's a great job. Great job. Okay. So now we're going to move over here to the discontinuities. These are things that can cause them to fail a weld test. Okay. So we're going to just go over one of the discontinuities to kind of see where we're, you know, see where he's at in the process. Okay. What is um, excessive reinforcement, Anthony? Excessive reinforcement is when your cap is higher than an eighth of an inch or your root is deeper than an uh, eighth of an inch. Okay, yeah. that is a great job, great job. So these are just some of the things that you guys will learn when you come to Griffin's Industrial Welding School. We're going to make sure that you're well taken care of and that you not only know how to weld, but that you have a full understanding of the theory behind the welding, okay? So if you guys are ever stressed out and you want to you learn a trade and, and you, you feel like you're kind of on the fence on if you want to keep going, just remember that hard work comes before success. And if you ever need somewhere to learn how to weld, you can always visit us at griffinweldingschool.com. And if you need to buy welding products such as personal protective equipment, you can visit us at griffinweldingschool.store.